<laughs> and we're live. Folks, it's Thursday night. Welcome aboard. Welcome to Murder Hobo Inc. Uh, you know what this is. We're playing in Cacophony, folks. Uh, three players, two hours, just a shitload of messes. If you didn't see last week's hot air balloon uh, scenario, <laughs> we've got the same three players here, and today we're going to do what is normally considered consequences. Uh, before we get into that, remember... Mature audiences only. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to buy really cool shit, it's there. If you want to hit us up in Discord, it's there. Uh, if you want to seat on the panel or in a game, come on, hit us up. M Hobo Inc. It's Twitter and or Gmail. Uh, let's get to the cast. We'll start in reverse order today. Uh, Carol, who are you? Who are you playing tonight? Hi everybody, I'm Carol. I'm a commissioned mini painter, a longtime gamer, sometime GM. Uh, I need to write I need to have time to write more stuff to, to play here. Uh, ditch I'm work more. What's that? Ditch work more. <laughs> I can't right now. My problem is I'm the only one that's really doing any designing at work because they demoted the other guy I was with because well he was doing stuff that was not work related for a freelance gig. Nice. And caught more than once. So he's been demoted to the floor and my supervisor. Well, at least she's been back, but she's not really a designer like I am. So really, that's why I can't really ditch work. And I've had a stack of work on my desk like this high. Um, who, are you, who are you playing tonight? So who am I playing? Sorry, I'm digressing. I am playing, once again, I'm playing Rose of the Raven. Um, she is my cacophony character, and I really enjoy swashbucklers, so I have time to buck. Oh, and also she is what I call her my oh, pirate for hire. That's it. You call her, uh, she'll do anything once, twice? No. It's no, <laughs> that's Rena. Oh, uh, that's right. Yeah, that's my regular role. No crossovers. <laughs> no crossovers. Uh, David, who are you? Who are you playing? <laughs> Hi, I'm David, and a um, murder hobo enthusiast. Uh, got on one episode and haven't left. <laughs> so, he's that well. guy. So, uh, yeah, tonight I'll be playing Zadar. He's a uh, changeling arcane trickster, kind of non binary. Right tools for the right job, that kind of thing. So, that works. Uh, mm -hmm. Last but not least, normally our producer. Tonight, our producer and our player, Carrie. Who are you? Who are you playing? I'm Carrie. I'm married to the guy next next door, and I will be playing Camille, my wizard necromancer. Hey! You are and also... dice maker. She's a dice maker. <laughs> and I'm a dice maker. Yeah, I write dog dice. And I've uh, used dice. I've used the new awesome dice that she made for me. So. I, I heard they roll well. Yeah, they rolled pretty well. Yeah, she was hot. <laughs> yeah, Soon to go live on Etsy, folks. Uh, <laughs> as we discussed earlier, last Thursday, these guys ended up in a hot air balloon. Well, two of them ended up in a hot air balloon. One of them used her face <laughs> to do some damage to some power. Uh, Rosa, most of it. Rosa's coin purse uh, ended up blinding a couple of people. Uh, and then they crash landed with the help of everybody's favorite, Mortimer J. Sneed, instructor from the Grand Academy, currently on sabbatical here in Cacophony. Hey, is uh, Mortimer a human? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, this evening, uh, the evening passed uh, after they tried to explain their way out of Uma Thurman's wrath. It was her tower. And uh, Sister uh, Gertrude, I believe. Uh, yes, yeah, Sister Gertrude, uh, who is now one eye. She's the one eye love. Uh, and one of her orphans also has one eye, courtesy of Rosa's loose change. Are they opposite uh, eyes? So they can yes. make a full person? Correct. They just tip their head together. <laughs> uh, that way they don't lose their depth perception. <laughs> uh, they have returned to their residence, which we really need to figure out where you guys live. I'm assuming it's an inn, but we'll worry about that later. No. Uh, and the first thing this morning, they have received a missive from Fomunda Dees Nuts, the heralded guild master of Cacophony. Uh, and they are expecting an ass chewing. If you saw the lead in, you know that they have arrived and unlike what they expected, 
uh, Famunda was rather amused at the uh, retelling of the story and wanted to make sure he got the facts straight up until the fuzz, the police, the, the pigs, the cops, the popo, the popo arrived uh, with specific instructions to take these three to the <laughs> council chambers to answer for their potential crimes. But don't worry, folks, Famunda's got their back. He is leading them out, and he is not going to let them dangle. As uh, you guys start this scenario, you exit the guildhouse to find a cadre of heavily armed guards present. Famunda decries these actions as harassment and completely unwarranted and advises that adventurers' lives matter. Uh, you <laughs> yeah! You are letting blocks to the city plaza with the governmental. I don't know. It depends. Uh, you guys circle around the city plaza where the government office is located. You walk past the ancient prehistoric skull of some critter that some jackass killed. Uh, and you are ushered into the waiting room on the right where there is a fountain that bubbles up serenely and has benches around. Uh, while the furnishings are austere, uh, everything is rather pleasant. Uh, the wait is going to be short, uh, and in a few minutes, two more heavily armored guards, these guys are freaking Warforged tanks, come in. They are ready for you. <laughs> you are led across the hall into the council chamber room and ushered to a table and three chairs. Famunda these nuts uh, sets up in the corner, and as you look around, you see a few familiar faces. Oh, God. Two of them are missing eyes. Uh, one of them is uh, the warlock witch Uma Thurman, who is still mightily pissed, and a whole host of other individuals, uh, each with cuts and scrapes. <laughs> I'm gonna disappear now. Goodbye. You have I'm like, no do not say a thing. <laughs> and Famunda has told you, say nothing, listen, be respectful, don't do anything. Uh, as you go to the table, the Warforges each move in on you to begin the pat down, and one of the individuals, uh, Zoran Zubek, the head of the council, says, gentlemen, that will not be necessary. Adventurers, do I have your word that you will not create mayhem or use your weapons in a malicious tone in this proceeding? Out of game. You're asking us, the Murder Hobo Inc. cast, whether or not we're going to cause mayhem. Yep, in the council room. That said, in game. <laughs> no, it's a promise. I'll behave. Okay, a lady stands up and she is identifies herself as forewoman Danica Molnar. She explains that the following is an inquiry only to see if charges need to be brought against these guild members who are currently in good standing, according to Famunda. Uh, the session uh, will begin uh, as uh, Danica Molnar points over to uh, the very prominent Uma Thurman. She steps up to a podium and begins to lambast you, pointing out that you have all willingly damaged her tower, showering ornamentation down upon several people who sustained injuries who are now attempting to come back at her for compensation. She will have none of that. She is fist banging. She is raising her voice. She is pointing her finger. Uh, Danica, the forewoman, puts her hand up. Thank you. Uh, did you witness these guys damage the tower? <laughs> she gets calm and points out that she was in the middle of a highly technical alchemical experiment that is <coughs> ruined because you guys have shaken her tower and knocked the grapes down. So, That's yeah. not dirty, okay? And, and she looks at you three and points to Rosa and says, that is the one who used her face to knock off one of my gargoyles. As she dangled recklessly, knowingly endangering herself and others. It wasn't exactly like I wanted to be there. <laughs> She's saying that. What? Yes. 
I whack her. Stop it. Smash. <laughs> we both, <laughs> we both like. You will have your mouth. chance to speak. <laughs> please, please hold all comments till later. Uh, next up is Sister Gertrude, who really kind of points at you guys and says, they assaulted me and little Hobie. Oh, that's the point. Of He's got a bandage. He looks like a pirate. A little Hobie with some kind of metallic objects. They may have been sharpened sticks. I'm not sure. But I distinctly observed that one, the one they call Rosa, as the one responsible for this eye. Why did you miss the other two? Uh, Hobie uh, is called forth by Danica and says, is this the case? And he, a tear rolls down his good eye. <laughs> his good eye. <laughs> is Villanelle here to look under the bandage? Uh, she is not. Hmm. Sister Gertrude is just enraged. Danica says, it is, is that all you have to say? Sister Gertrude nods angrily. <clears throat> Next up is an individual who takes off his hat to show a sparse population of hair and points out that he be a humble man named Hiram. <laughs> and he was walking down the street when you guys used, you, 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 you used me as target practice with your daggers. And, excuse me, sustained bodily injury to my nether regions. When was that? Remind the player when that was. Danica looks around and goes, Didn't happen. <laughs> Hiram, are you drunk? <laughs> I hope. I, I, I'm in a lot of pain, so I took a wee bit of liquor before the, before, <laughs> now, and I want compensation because I have been grievously injured. And again, Frank, did this actually happen? I forget this happened because I don't remember something with daggers. This is something that I'm forgetting. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> they no, just called me a loser. <laughs> no, no, that means out of game. God, where have you been? That's what that's that means. That's, that's out of game. new to me. Never heard I, of it. Oh no, that's that's a well, at least that's a thing uh, in our world. It, your, your answer is forthcoming. Okay. Fair Danica right. exhales deeply and nods over to one of the men, uh, the heavily armored guys. He walks over and Hiram comes up to about here. He reaches down with his mailed fist and yanks open his trousers. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> So, Hiram, you're drunk. Get out of here. <laughs> okay, so it's not. Oh, thing. Like, oh, 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 oh. I'm going to get a drink. <laughs> Hiram, Hiram stomps off angrily. Uh, with an exasperated opinion, Danica looks at you guys and says, Since there are three of you, I will assume that all three of you are going to give the same account. Is that correct yeah who would like to explain your side of the story I'll yes short one well this obviously did not turn out how we had intended we uh came across this craft and there were some unsavory individuals that were trying to steal it and we didn't want it to fall into the wrong hands so we fought them and took the craft. Unfortunately, we, well, our, our pilot was not adept at using it. So there were some instances where we were out of control. And uh, unfortunately, um, Rosa, she, she wasn't intentionally using her face to knock over the tower. She had lost her balance and was dangling and I was trying to get her back in. I finally got her back in and then we sort of crash landed. 
So, you know, we didn't intentionally hurt anyone. We're, you know, we're sorry for anything that might have happened. Uh, Miss Thurman, I hope Mudhen is okay because I love your cat. Um, and uh, anything we can do to help, you know, smooth this over, we would, we would like to do. That's fair. Yeah, I mean, come on. It's not like I really wanted to topple over your gargoyle with my face. My face ended up getting damaged in the prospect, too, or in the incident, too. I fell out. It lurched. I fell out. Thankfully, there was a rope that caught around my foot, and I was dangling for dear life. The SS fail army. Uh, <laughs> one, of the, one of the individuals on the council says, um, are one of you not the pilot? None of us are the pilot, no. Who is this pilot? Mortimer J. Sneed on sabbatical. From the Academy. From the Grand Academy. The Instructor Grand Academy. at the Grand Academy on sabbatical here in Cacophony. Luckily, we made his acquaintance and he was able to help try to pilot the vehicle. I, the reason why we crashed was, we, let's see, somebody... I believe we were shot at by, I don't know if they were crossbow boats or arrows, but that popped one of the air sacs. Uh, then I think was, the other was the wildlife attack. <laughs> yeah, the vulture. There was a giant vulture. Well, I was hanging there too, so I had to get back on board real quick. But so a who, vulture popped all who, the rest. Who is this individual that you did battle with? What do you mean? Your associate mentioned that uh, there was a fight and you were able to wrestle away this strange vehicle from somebody. Uh, so this oh. vehicle is not yours? There, well, there was two people that were interested in it and um, uh, I'm not sure what happened to them once we got into the vehicle, vehicle and fled. Oh, come on. We can say what I can say what happened to me because it's self-freaking-defense, okay? They <laughs> No, in this case, there's nothing Come wrong on. with the truth. <laughs> nothing wrong with the truth. Why would I run from the truth? Has the truth ever worked for you? <laughs> yeah. I, wait, wait, wait. Ter it definitely worked for Taryn. She got cleared of uh, some definite serious charges. I would like to tell the council that she's very emotional, and please take that into consideration. Yeah, it's fine. They, it's, they wanted... The balloon. When we refused, they attacked us. That is true. At me with, I think, so with, with the, they were so the owners. No, no. they were the who, ones trying to steal it. Who is the owner? Mr. I, I guess Aerosmith. Aerosmith. Mr. Thank Aerosmith. You. And he is associate of yours. Well, no. actually, we prior to the incident, we did not know him. Yeah, exactly. Uh, it, the fourth member of the council is puzzled and raises her hand and she says uh, and one of her attendants comes over whispers something into her ear and she goes so if Mr. Aerosmith owns this vehicle how did you come about in possession of it? Did you steal it? No, no. <laughs> now first we were, we came out from the tavern that we were at and this this vehicle crash landed and this little was he a halfling by the name of skippy lee there you go he he was being chased because i think he had commandeered it and he ran off and so oh, obviously appropriated. appropriated so obviously the vehicle is in flux without its owner but I think he gave us the key to it, right? He did give us the key. Mm -hmm. uh, Camille, what is your charisma? Oh, dear Lord. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, let's see. As a, the, Where is that? <laughs> I have members. Oh, Lord. Uh, I don't know. Where is that? Uh, bottom left. Uh, Where are your stats? It's an eight. What? That, that should go well. 
Oh no. Oh no, wait, that's my uh eleven. So plus okay. one. Yes. No, I think that's zero. Huh. Oh yes, it is zero. Uh <laughs> thank you for your eloquent oh, no. recitation. Uh Famunda, the council would like to speak with you. Uh Famunda steps up, straightens his shirt, looks very striking. It is my pleasure to serve the council. How may I serve this council well? Flamanda, these individuals are in good standing at the guild. Excellent standing. They have come across and uh, performed several dangerous duties for the citizens of the city. They should be uh, given accolades, not questioning. Um, is it common practice for your heroes to take and utilize vehicles from people they do not know. Uh. <clears throat> Come on. Amanda is clearly stuck now. He says, while I would certainly not have done that uh it should be noted that their actions did allow the rightful owner to recover their property so yeah uh the council says uh we will go ahead and take uh an initial vote to see if the inquiry warrants an arrest uh to which irma Thum irma Thuman yells out hanging is what they need <laughs> i saved your cat <laughs> the council each puts something on a piece of paper hands it to D danica the leader and she reads them off one by one first exonerate and accolades second Incarcerate. Oh, no. <laughs> Third, jail. That does Fourth, allow them to go free. To and, and fifth, huh, undecided. Oh, you did make it a tie. <laughs> uh, guards take the adventurers over to the waiting room again please uh also separate the external witnesses move them outside so that there are no issues uh ladies and gentlemen thank you for your time uh give us a few minutes to go ahead and hash this out uh you are escorted back into the room uh to await your fate famanda is allowed to remain in the council chambers as you go across the hall the door shuts uh, and uh, there is a deliberation going on. Uh, several minutes pass. <laughs> Everybody roll a straight up d20. No, four. <laughs> is that you? I just got a real big lag spike off you. 15. I, I'm okay. 17. That's not me. What are we doing? Because I did not understand D D20. Straight up D20. D20. Uh, 17. Uh, Zadar and Rosa reroll. Uh, 15. Um, 9. <laughs> Zadar and or Rosa and Camille reroll. Oh, jeez. 13. Oh. Uh, Oh, uh, eight. Okay. Uh, Camille, uh, as you're pacing anxiously waiting to find out your fate, you notice a young woman delivering flowers and observe the flowers have at least three bees floating around the colorful buds. Uh, Zadar with the nine, you notice that the drunk has returned uh, and... <laughs> 
He begins to urinate on a pillar before a pair of guards beat the unholy shit out of him and drag him outside. Uh, Rosa, you notice a dwarf in blue hailed as FedEx uh, wades through the pee to deliver a wicker basket. Uh, One of the guards nods to him, greets him as FedEx, and lets him pass. (laughs) Uh, a, no. few minute, a few minutes later, uh, after an eternity, uh, you are beckoned back into the council chamber. Oh, God. Amanda huddles you up and says, okay, look. <clears throat> the holdout vote is Aroa. He's the elf, the only elf on the panel. He has agreed to talk to you uh, because he has some questions that he does not feel have been correctly answered. My suggestion is be exceptionally kind to this individual as he is very nice and don't screw this up because if he votes against you you're going to trial and that is not what you need so maintain no matter what he says okay Okay. Arwa the elf comes up warmly greets you shakes each one of your hands if you'll allow him to of course presents himself as Arwa uh, from the elven nation uh he asks if he could have a few moments of your time so that he could ask you a few questions that will allow him to come to a much better conclusion. Of course. Okay. Uh, let's go up to my office. Uh, we will have some privacy there. That way you can feel free uh, to speak your mind uh, without any of the exterior problems uh, that have been pushed outside. Uh, you guys walk through the door in the hallway. You go up a flight of stairs. You pass a couple of guards with... Uh, hallways going down each way uh, you go up another flight of stairs and there's a long hallway and there are five doors he takes you to the left you go into door number two and it is a small office but warmly decorated it gives off a vibrant smell because there sits some flowers with a couple of bees buzzing by uh, and it has a lot of elven architecture He sits noiselessly down into his chair where his desk has the flowers in the wicker basket uh, and the bees begin to buzz. Uh, He says, just a couple of questions. What do you know of the owner? And as you watch, a bee comes in on an attack run for his face and he does this. And the bee plops down on his finger and sits. How cute! How do you do that? Your pets? These are creatures of nature. Everybody loves them. You just have to respect them, and they will respect you. He reaches over, and he puts the bee back on the flower, and he goes, hmm, what's this? He opens up the wicker basket, and a metallic snake comes out and bites him in the face. Uh, Everybody roll initiative. Son of a Uh bitch. (laughs) Oh man! <laughs> Seven. Pretty well, uh, Cherry. Awesome. Seven. Twenty-one. <laughs> uh, Twenty-two. What was yours, Camilla? Seven. Yep. Seven. Uh, we'll start with a twenty-two, Rosa. Uh, what appears to be a metallic snake has just exited the wicker basket quite fast and struck uh, the elf right in the face. He pitches backwards out of his chair and slumps to the ground. Oh, fuck. You're up. Don't worry. Uh, you guys are the only ones around, so I'm sure you aren't going to get blamed. Right. <laughs> well, it's not a sword. It'll be a couple of teeth marks, and we'll have the snake. So, I mean, I'm going to attack. We can the- hope. <laughs> I'm going to attack the snake. Well, who's trying to? I wonder who's trying to kill him. Who sent that gift? Oh, uh, yeah, I have enough room time to. Oh, that's that, that was not a good roll. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I would pull both my weapons. Um, so the first one, I doubt an eight is going to hit. Uh, although, a, no, that second one was much better. That would be a 21. Yep, that hits. 13 is your magic number to hit the Iron Cobra. Oh. Okay, so that would be a, that'd be six points of damage since sneak attack. Zadar, you're up. Um, okay. How far away is this snake from me? Um, five to seven feet tops. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, you yeah. guys can all close in on it. Sure. You'll just have to step over the slumped body of the 
uh, council Do, member. Doing that, I'm going to take advantage of the sneak attack from being in a crowd. Yep. Um, okay. Uh, short sword attack, uh, 21 to hit. It's. Okay. Um, let me see. Um, gonna, uh, initially 10 points of damage, followed by... Uh, seven points of damage following that. So 17 points of damage. Got it. Uh, it's turn. We'll use a murder hobo die. That's no. a three. It's going after Zadar. Uh, Zadar, the snake coils and strikes. Um, 16 plus 5, 21. Yeah, that hits. <laughs> uh, it, can, it can rack it up. Oh, murder hobo. Six plus three is nine. Wow. And the bite does one of three things. So first off, give me a DC 13 versus constitution. And let's see what it does. God. Well, that's an eight. <laughs> Zadar is struck. Uh, one, two, three. <laughs> Uh, somewhere in the chin and falls over paralyzed. <laughs> uh, Camille, you're up. You said nine points of damage? Yep, mass, uh, maximum damage. Well, thank oh. God. Now they probably won't blame us. <laughs> well, I shouldn't anyway. I'm, I'm like, <laughs> dead. So. He's not dead. I'm not, I'm not dead, but I'm paralyzed. And I'm just like, in my mind, I'm you're, like, you're thanks, okay. Camille. You're okay. <laughs> it's fine. You're paralyzed. You can see everything going on. Yeah, and hear everything. Um, so I cast Ray of Frost. Okay. Uh, Seventeen. That hits. And... Uh, uh, four. All hell is breaking loose. Start of the next round, Rosa. You have seen uh, Ar 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 uh fall. You've seen Zidar fall. I'm going to take a couple more hits, and I get that fancy footwork, so I don't know. Well, Carrie, that was a ranged attack, so I'm going to assume you're not in melee with it. Correct. Um, well, the first thing... And neither is Zadar. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's not better for me because I have... The look of shock. I got the shocked face going. Because of the footwork, I guess sneak attack anyways. Um, so, uh, I believe a 21 will hit. Yep. Oh, you said a magic number. Oh, god damn it, but a 12 misses. Ooh. But hey, this time it's just... So yeah, this time it's the sneak attack one, though. <laughs> Ray Bear, Ray Bear, what's a Ray Bear? D8. Well, let's see, that's, so that's 9 and 4 is 13, and 3 is 16. Points of damage. Got it. Uh, phone. Zadar, give me a DC 13 versus con. Oh, <laughs> How does he do that? With his mouth? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 18 uh, uh, uh. <laughs> you, you snap out of it and sit back up to watch the snake so oh, lord <laughs> uh, this time the snake is really pissed uh, that's a 5 it's coming after Hulsa well I'd hope so I just did a good amount of damage to it 15 plus 5 dirty 20 Ah, that'll hit. Uh, give me your save. Oh what was that it is not a uh, con. 13 con. Con, that's right. You're taking six damage from the bite. You're you're a halfling, right? However, I rolled an 18 on my con save, so I am so. not paralyzed. Yeah. So what did you take, six? Six damage as it bites you in the torso. Uh, oh. Camille, the Iron Cobra is still <laughs> deadly. Yeah, well, he slowed down, so I'm going to do Ray of Frost again. Cobra Kai, or no, Dodgeball. Yeah, Dodgeball. 
Wow. <laughs> Uh, 18. It's? Yeah. <sighs> no. One plus. I don't know. What do I add? Oh. I don't know. Or is it really just one? I think it's just one. Oh, well, that's not going to do it. <laughs> but you know what? <laughs> it almost does. <laughs> Rosa, after being bit in the belly button and having a ring slot for yourself, you're up. <laughs> Good. Can you get me a magic belly button ring, please? I don't know. You'll have to look for one. Okay, so that is... That's going to be two hits because the lowest of them was a 16, so that's a 21. Are you going to do more than five? Uh... <laughs> Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, Rosa's blades shatter the iron cobra, knocking it into individual pieces. Uh, Zidar finally has his head back on straight and can get up. Uh, Camille, Zidar, Rosa, uh, Arawa is not so lucky. He is still exceptionally rigid. Uh -oh. So. He is breathing, and his, but his eyes have been rolled back in their in his eye sockets. Is it poison? Medicine check. I say, can anybody get? Does anybody have medicine trained? Oh, I I summon Omen, the the Tressum, okay. to sniff this out. <laughs> is it poison? <laughs> uh, it is a toxin of some kind. Okay. Yeah, he's poisoned. <laughs> I will suck it out. You got bit on the face. Oh. Give, give me a performance check. Go for oh. it. <laughs> yeah, this could be awkward. I hope you yeah, At least it wasn't in the torso. <laughs> <laughs> 20. 20 is nice. No, uh, no, I mean, that's what I roll. Yes. The 20. Yeah. 12. No. <laughs> Hopefully you don't have any sores in your mouth or anything you, like that. You suck at this. <laughs> oh, you're terrible, man. All right. Uh, everybody roll an insight. Insight. Oh, man. Uh, wow, these dice really are pretty good. Um, that would be a 16. Uh, nine. 17. Uh, Zadar, you are exceptionally concerned about this councilman's health and well-being. Camille and Rosa, you both remember Rosa saying, I wonder who did this. Uh, yeah. Anybody got any guesses? Well, shouldn't we go for help? And we you should probably go for help. Okay. Well, we need to get him away to ask him who he might, you know, who he thinks might I think be. we need to get help first. Yeah. <laughs> I run out and scream for a guard. That's, that's Help! <laughs> That's my point. We do have to get him help before we really can do anything else. Are the pieces I look to see? Are the pieces of the cobra still there? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Uh, help arrives in the form of three guards and Fumunda these nuts, and screams out, "What are you doing?" <laughs> it wasn't us. Look, he's bit. Uh, she's bit. <laughs> Come on, man. What's the one thing we always find? Snakes in a fucking basket. You're all bit. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, uh, Rosa, your insight was high enough to remember something very significant about this. What? Because the player is not remembering shit. FedEx brought this box. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. No, I actually did remember that. Um, but let's get him help first so yeah yeah i know that's a clue too the other council members uh will come charging up the stairs the small room fills up immediately because the big burly guards begin to drag the leaf elf out into the hallway to begin resuscitation uh one of the council members uh who is ready to exonerate you points out that he has been poisoned duh uh who did this we don't know, but he, I... Whoever he, sent the package whoever his sent, picnic basket. Yeah, that's the one. Yogi. <laughs> the Yogi. <laughs> well, I will, you know, I will pick up the remnants of the Iron Cobra, and I will bring it out and show them. This is what came in the box, and it, as soon as 
or the basket, and as soon as he opened it, it attacked him. Well, who brought this box? This individual needs questioned immediately. Uh, uh, better. uh that that's war. Did would we known the name? I mean, I know you, you heard him. FedEx. Yeah, FedEx. but one of the guards called him by FedEx. Yeah. Okay, that's right. We did hear that. That so, guard yeah. is not here. Hmm. Did the guard give him the box? No, he brought the box in. He brought the, brought the box. He was greeted, and then you couldn't see anything, but FedEx did uh, not return. I'm like, the plot thickens. <laughs> the... Oh, yeah, well, that's about said. They'll tell the guard part. FedEx, the dwarf, who I assume delivered things, uh, brought Find this. Find him! Bring him to us! Is he going to be okay? That is our concern at this point in time. Can you heal him? Look, I sucked him off. I tried. <laughs> if you can't heal him, go find his killers. We will get him some help. Well, he's one of the ones I'd want to talk to about who did it. I mean, maybe he'd have an idea of who he might have pissed off in the last or recently. You can't meanwhile, get him. Mean, meanwhile, the suspect is escaping. <laughs> Oh, well, I mean, he already did. He already has a good head start on us anyways. He sure right. does. I mean, we were up there for a few minutes anyways. I mean, yeah, we can go out. And... Do you know anything about this FedEx? Nobody here go... does. Okay. Was it uh, I remember. There's a I remember delivery service. Like? Yeah, is there a delivery service in do town? Do I remember what he looked like, Frank? Uh, you did not see him. You were focused on the drunk pissing the drunk on the pissing. pillar. Yeah. Camille was focused on the flower girl, and Rosa was focused in on FedEx. Uh, Rosa's the so, only one who will know who this person is. So wait, was what he was wearing, did it look like a uniform, or did it just look like regular clothes? It was a blue tabard. So it looks sort of like a uniform. Uh, well, I, I live here. I would know the delivery. I would think I would know, you know, the delivery services. Is there that... is no UPS or no. FedEx. This is just the guy's name. This is the guy's name, FedEx. No, I get that. But, I mean, does that blue tabard represent something? Not to your knowledge. Is there a it's... delivery service in town? No. Yeah, that was ultimately what I'm aiming for. And I guess the answer is no. No. Not hmm. even your pigeons. All right, let's go. Let's go see if we can find him, I guess. As you go down the stairway, you see the guard that recognized FedEx. He's standing there doing his guard shit. Yo, dude. FedEx, where's he at? He just walked out the front door. Do you know where he uh, hangs out? No, Which... there's a tavern around the corner that he drinks at. Tavern around the corner that he drinks at. Well, it's going to be important for you to help us since you're the only one that let him in and he just brought stuff that attacked the elf person. I am afraid my duties include only this residence. I cannot help you. Which direction did he leave? Out, Out the, the door. front door. Yeah, but which direction did he go once he got to the street? Or did you not pay attention? I was mopping up the urine. Whatever, dude. You're so screwed. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. You're fucked. You're gonna lose your job. Uh, you're and lose. not in a good way. God. He, he doesn't know. He's cleaning up piss, so he's not exactly in a great mood. Yeah, I was about to say, I mean, uh, the perspective of losing the job probably does not sound bad at this moment. <laughs> really? I'm gonna lose the job, really. That's what you're telling me. I bet this is a pretty good paying job, right? Any other guards outside? Go uh, there are guards coming down the stairs after you guys. No, I wonder if there's anybody that would have seen him and which direction he headed out. Uh, headed out. You can go outside if you want. Hmm? Oh, I'm gonna go outside. That's the next. You know, he went. He went out the door, so that would be the next logical step. As you go outside, you notice that the guards have cordoned off your accusers and they have spotted you exit the building in apparent freedom and they began to yell and taunt things you are not going right as the guards try and hold them back uh, you can go straight across the plaza where you came from 
or hook around on the left. So there are guards there that may have seen him. But they're busy, aren't they? They sure are, because they're throwing rocks at you. <laughs> <laughs> so she's got a big hat. Well, she's, got, she's only got one eye, so she's really missing. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Because uh, otherwise I would yell at the guards, Hey, did you see a dwarf come through named FedEx and with a blue tabard? You know what? I'm going to take the shot at you. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> 19. <laughs> I think that hits. <laughs> he had conked on the head with a shoe for one hit point of damage. And it's a smelly shoe. Oh. It's like urine. Oh. <laughs> Gross. Ow. So you can go straight out and hightail it for the Adventurer's Guild or hook around left in the hopes that you find him there. But the city's wide open at this point. I say we hook around left. That way we won't be running through the crowd. I, I, no, I'm good with that. Maybe we'll find one of the taverns and drink it. Uh, you hook around to the left, and it is one of the major thoroughfares in the, the city. Uh, I don't think you guys have visited this area yet. Uh, just uh, two blocks down, there is a large inn, uh, and it seems to have a lot of tourists uh standing in line to get in for some reason or you can continue on further towards the i believe it's the craftsman district I check out the line just to he wouldn't be in the line. hey is this, is this for justin bieber <laughs> <laughs> to make can i check out the line to see if he's there sure investigation check i've got no uh oh that's actually good hey these dice really do roll well uh, investigation 18. There is a blue tabard ahead of you standing in line. About yay high. All right, I point him out to the uh, my compatriots. I'm like, I guess we should approach him. I'm not gonna assume he's the one that actually sent it either. Who uh, who wants to make first contact? Um. Actually, I will. Okay. I will change into the guard. Ooh. That way you can throw. Nice. Oh, nice. It wasn't a Warforged, or was it? Yes, it was a Warforged. Damn it, I can't do that. <laughs> it's got to be organic. Nope. Uh, Damn it. All right. That's Maybe you can just be a really attractive female. <clears throat> you can ask to cut in line with him. Okay. Uh, I'll do... Yeah, I'll morph into... A blonde-haired version of Jessica Rabbit. Right. No, it was a blonde last time. So, yeah. I'll, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll approach him in the line. Zadar just... approaches in line and goes, Excuse me, could I hang out with you? And the person turns around and you notice that they are wearing a bonnet. And the short human female goes i do declare the line is that way you <laughs> scoundrel go away there is no cuts <laughs> I, and i say well pardon me miss uh everybody and investigation oh <laughs> uh, really seriously so it wasn't it i kind of wondered uh that wasn't a good role uh that was lame <laughs> 12. he ain't here investigation I'm convinced he's not here. I only rolled a second. Yeah. Actually, 24. Uh, <laughs> you catch a flurry of blue ahead of you in the small section where there are plenty of smaller shops. <laughs> okay. I, I see. I see a tabard that way. All right. The closer you get, the three of you notice that this individual is a squat dwarf, and he seems to be taking a bag filled with something from an extremely large individual, one might say ogre-sized. Oh, uh, the ogre-sized individual points his meaty finger behind the dwarf who spins around, waves off the man, and whoosh, two fists it, baby! Initiative! I do the same thing, by the way. 19 plus 4, 23. That is <laughs> Ten. Seventeen. Zadar? Uh, 
Nat one. Uh, <laughs> oh, goodbye, God. sweet prince, as you step in a so small four. green pile of horse manure. I'm like, oh. My God. First attack is going to be five. Second attack is going to be five. Rosa, he is unimpressed with your skills as a swordswoman, and he is going to attack you and cut you up. Hiya, 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 hiya. He is oh, man. Ginsu. This is the dwarf, right? I yep. didn't Right, yeah, okay. So 17 and a 9. I don't the 9 will miss, but the 17 will hit. Yeah, 21 and 13. Uh, oh, the 13 does not miss by much. Uh, 7 damage as he cuts oh, through. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, this is bad, guys. This is Emil, bad. you're up. Man. 21. To do what? <coughs> Well, you gonna stick him with your stick or hit him with your ray of frost? Um, let's see. <clears throat> I like my stick. I'll hit him with my stick. Damn yeah. Uh, one d six. <laughs> six. Ooh, gives him an old conk on the noggin. Zadar, you clean the dog shit off your boot. What you said you it like? was horse shit. Horse <laughs> shit, dog shit, human shit. It's that drunk shit. The guy I'm like, ugh. And I'm like pulling my pump out of it because I still look like Jessica Rabbit. And I'm just, I point a finger at him and I say just a funny word like flabbergasted. <laughs> he has to do a wisdom save. Hey, Frank. 19. I yes, ma'am. I haven't no, gone. That saves. Damn it. <laughs> oh, you haven't gone. You'll go next. Uh, uh, go ahead, Rosa. That's all right. Let him. Let, let him do. What? What was he doing? Uh, I think it was Tasha's, but it was a 19 mm -hmm. on the roll, so it wasn't anything. Oh, it's yeah, it's nothing. <laughs> all right. I have my two swords out and like, ow. And I'm gonna try to hit him. Did you lose my initiative or something? Yeah, I was looking at your old initiative. Oh. <laughs> I, I have now squared it off, so now I am good. All right, so you know what it was? All right, so. Yeah, yours was is, 17. That's really good. That's um, 22 and 21. Both for my hit. Yeah. This is going to hurt you a lot more than what you just did to me, I'll bet. Uh, I need a D6. That's what I need. Uh, yeah, that wasn't as good as I was hoping, but so that's 10, 12, 15 points. Okay. New round, 23 is up. His first attack is a two, Camille, and a four, Zadar. Uh-oh. <laughs> Camille. Oh, no, I'm glad it's not me this time. Is a three plus four, seven. Zadar is a 14 plus four, 18. 18 hits. <laughs> Four plus two. Six damage to Zadar as he is uh, dervishing through the crowd. Next up is Rosa, 17. All right. So I'm going to try to do that again. I'm dancing around. All right. So that is, what is that? So that is a 18 and a 15. One hit, one miss. I assume the first, obviously the first one hit. The first one hit. That does make a difference. That is my sneak. Oh, wow. Thank you, murder. I see a murder hobo. I see a murder hobo. That was two. My regular die didn't go great. But that is 11, 12, 13, and three is 16 more points. Very nice. Uh, Camille, you are up. Oh, God. How much to make this guy unconscious? <laughs> I don't know. He's pretty beat up, though. <coughs> mm, 17. That does hit. Okay, we're going to go back to my staff. Four. Uh, and that is enough to punishingly knock him down flat. Yes. Also, in more horse shit. That horse has a gastro issue. 
Apparently. It was Taco uh, Tuesday. As he falls, the bag that was given to him by the larger man falls to the ground, the cobblestone, and spills out, uh, reflecting 80 gold pieces worth of gems. The crowd from the inn has begun to gather round. Mm -mm. Where's the ogre? Ish looking thing. Did Farther he that way. Oh yeah, he took off. Uh, we need to collect the the bag of stuff and him and get back to the office. Yes. <laughs> Wait. All right, so let's, I guess, take him. Is he is he bleeding out, or I don't know if there's anything we can do, though. He's at minus two. Uh, can we medicine check first aid him so he doesn't to, to stabilize? I'm not sure, sure. What to do. I'm not very... stabilize him. Uh, anybody have a better medicine than me? Anybody better at it than me? I'll you can't do it. any worse than Man Fang did on Sunday. <laughs> Uh, I, I did not get a chance to watch that, so <laughs> I can't imagine. He rolled a rolled one. <laughs> okay. Medicine I check or four. survival? I rolled medicine. A I do have skills, medicine. Oh. I don't know what. I... 14. So I don't that's enough. It is not. All right. You try. I rolled a six, so I'm just pouring salt on the wound. <laughs> Everything that Rosa did just got undone. undone. <laughs> Eleven? Yep, not even close. Uh, he's going to be hurt. Well, that's okay. <coughs> well, he is bleeding. Oh, well, that's fine. So are we, are we going to transport him or go after the ogre? Uh, we're going to transport him in the gold or whatever. Really hurt. I don't know if anybody has any healing potions. Or anything. I want to go after the ogre, but we need to probably should transport him back to headquarters and see if he can tell us where the ogre is if we get him away. Four city watchmen show up, not warforged. Halt in the name of the council. Oh, for the love oh, of God. Man. What? I sound, I sound like I'm tired and I am. Take us to the what? council. This guy, the gold, let's go. Hut, 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 hut. <laughs> they circle around you and allow you to carry uh, douchebag back. Uh, three blocks as he continues to bleed out. Oh, God. What, we can't tie a ribbon around his leg or whatever? Uh, you guys tried your medicine check. We tried. Check. <laughs> Come on, <back> guys. <laughs> we failed our medicine check. Something. Rosa tied it, and then Zadar moved it down below the wound. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that I can't try again, huh? Nope. One nope. shot at this. Uh, are you going to double time it? Hut, 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 hut. Yeah, are they moving like they're knee? knee yeah. They're going to move at your speed. Oh, okay. Damn it. Oh, we're going to go as fast as we can. Okay. We gotta... Everybody roll a d20. Make sure you don't dump the body on the cobblestone and kill him. Oh my God, uh, so... 17. Well, I have a strength, so I can probably just carry it. Which Is this a strength check? Are you going to throw the bleeding body over your shoulder and run? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You, you guys should carry him. Like, okay. flat. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you want to throw him over your shoulder and run, yeah, go ahead. I'm not going to... No, not... no, well, I mean, I could carry him like this, you know, too. I mean, there's a dwarf, so... We could make a stretcher for him out of a couple of cloaks and, uh, and ask the guards if they'll let us use a spear. <laughs> a couple spears. That's so true. So what was everybody's d20? Right, 17. So... Wasn't good. <laughs> well... How, how wasn't good it was it? It was an 8. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, you stumble, but you continue. Uh, I assume one of you has his legs and the other two have an arm. Which yeah. Is the easiest yeah. way to carry him. Uh, you hut, 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 hut around three blocks. <gasps> <gasps> and and pumps. Two fights in ten minutes, wearing pumps, carrying a fat dwarf. Uh, you and arrive, I'm short. <laughs> you arrive at the front of the government office. Most people need to be in jail. The mob is still present. <laughs> the you guys, fuck off! 
war force. You're trying to keep them back. But the shower of rocks, debris, and second shoe. God damn it, don't we hit It's six. Rosa gets hit with another shoe. It's the other know. smelly shoe. Can I cast Ray of Sickness on the crowd? Did you say six points? No, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So oh, it just hit you. No damage. One. No damage, okay. No, there's a lot of urine in this shoe, so it's really <laughs> wet. Uh, Camille, you can cast Ray of Sickness, however, you're going to hit at least a guard, if not three. Yeah, don't hit the guards. Don't do it. Don't, just don't do it. But we're already in enough trouble. Don't do it. Yeah. Zone in. Zone I, in. I want, I want that. I it's want. okay, Camille. <laughs> fog cloud. Hey, ah! Okay, fine. You don't Fine. Digitation, do you? No. No. <laughs> All right, let's no, just. No pee, lady. <laughs> uh, you hustle the body into the hallway, in between the council chambers and the waiting room, uh, where several more guards are there. Uh, some with little stripy things there, indicating that they're probably higher level uh, mm. guardsmen, not warforged. But City Watch, uh, you see uh, P Boy, the City Watch, with a bucket scrubbing, uh, and you also see D's nuts. Where the hell have you guys been, and what the hell is that? And P Bucket says, "Oh, see, you found FedEx. You don't need me." <laughs> I whack him with my stick. <laughs> see if you hit him. He's a Warforge. Oh, you're gonna get us in trouble. Twelve. Do it. I'm not even close. Damn no. it. <laughs> uh, D's Nuts puts his hand up and stops your staff from striking anybody and goes, Not here, not now. This is this guy, and what are you doing? Yeah, this is the guy that delivered the basket with the snake in it. P Bucket goes, Duh. <laughs> I try to hit him again. Uh, Flamunda still has your. He's still yeah. holding on to it. Flamunda, <laughs> can you heal at all? Uh, I don't. Out of game, I probably Rosa would probably know, but I he, don't. He, he is actually a bard. Bard, uh, yeah. We'll have him. You know what? He'll do a medicine check for you. Okay. Well, we could probably use. Some <laughs> Three. The guy <laughs> dies on the floor. <laughs> 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 he puts his head right on the wound and is covered in the guy's blood. Oh, no. Oh, you're worse than me. <laughs> the four council members walk down the stairs muttering to each other. Uh, they see the dead dwarf spilling blood, uh, pee bucket, still cleaning up urine and now realizing... He's going to have to do the blood, too, because he's low man on the... Good. Water. Good. <sighs> and they are like, what is going on here? Well, we found the attacker. Although, damn it, he just died. Well, at the least the courier. The <laughs> we found the courier, so... How uh, do you know he brought the snake? We saw we him. Saw the, him. the courier that brought the snake, but he's working with somebody else. P. Bucket flips his brush into the pan and goes, ah, "Duh, he's the one that brought the wicker basket." Oh my God, I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna hurt him. The door <laughs> opens up from the outside, and a man you know and love enters in a hurried fashion. Is it Mortimer? Mortimer J. Sneed walks in with a handful Mortimer. of paper. Mortimer goes, "Am I late?" <laughs> yeah. No. I was told that I needed to speak before the council, and I am present. Too late. Well, I'm glad you're here. <laughs> the door opens up again, and the sound of clinking chains is heard, as two members of the city watch are dragging in a halfling, whom you know as Skippy Lee. Skippy Lee. Skippy oh. Lee looks down at the dwarf and goes, <laughs> That guy's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. And Mortimer turns around and goes, has anybody checked to see if he's dead? 
I'm Mortimer J. Sneed. On sabbatical? No, I'm not. From the Grand Academy? The Grand there Academy. you go. Uh, go I ahead. Can, check. I can check. Please. Please. You heal? Seven. He's, yeah, dead. he's dead. <laughs> Thanks, Mortimer. Mortimer goes into the council room and... Who the fuck knows? Skippy continues to dangle between the two city watch guards, making his chains jingle. <laughs> uh, the look on the face of the two guards is clearly evident that they've had enough of his shit and don't want to deal with him anymore. They say, somebody wanted him here. Here he is. He's not our problem. They dump him on the ground, still in manacles, still in foot manacles, and they walk outside. Oh, man. <laughs> I grabbed the chains. I'm like, Skippy, come on. <laughs> Where are we what? going? We're, we're Ooh, going to the like council. This in here. <laughs> so, I turn to him and say, "How'd you get the hot air balloon?" Okay. <laughs> Where'd you take it from? <laughs> what are you, my mother? Wait, what is yeah, Skippy? I'm like, just like <laughs> Skippy, I'm about to be your worst nightmare. <laughs> Where'd you get? Can it? he do <laughs> anything for us? I don't really yeah, know. He already got arrested for stealing the damn thing. He's yeah. a material witness for you, not against yeah, him. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Come on, you're going to testify. How's he going to help <laughs> us, though? He can exonerate you guys. For what? Mm -hmm. One of the questions that the he council stole had it. was if you guys stole it or not. He, he's going to go ahead and tell them that, <laughs> fuck yeah, I stole that thing. All right. That fat uh, gnome doesn't know what the hell he's doing. He goes into the waiting room where the pool is. Pool? Oh, Lord. Uh, the council uh, members, who are still alive, uh, ask you, again, what is the purpose of this dwarf? Everybody, He's... perception check. He... Oh, my God. I, well, I'm going to answer them uh, as to he's the one that brought the Fifteen. gift to your fellow councilmen. What's what's the councilman's name? Arrow. Arrowa. Arrowa. It was a guy, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I sucked him off. Yeah. You brought the snake in that tried to kill Arrowa. Uh, fifteen. Fifteen, Rosa. Oh, uh, shoot! What was it? Uh, eleven. Which check was it again? Perception. 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 Uh, fourteen. Uh, as Rosa goes ahead and explains who this guy is and what he was wanted for, Zadar, Camille, you hear the sound of urination into the pool. Oh, God. And the clink of chains. And I'm like... And you also oh, hear okay. Skippy uh, talking in a very poor rendition of Rosa's voice. Oh, he's the guy that the blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Squirt, squirt, squirt. <laughs> stream. <laughs> hey, wait, it's been what, a while. Hey, what if you guys throw him in the pool? I'm not witnessing this, so. No, we're not going to kill our material witnesses. So. Kill him. I just said throw him in and pull him up. So you can we don't know. Fucking pee. Can I hit him? Oh, you can go over and hit him if you want. If you miss badly, you're going into the pee pool. Don't miss. Hit him into the pee pool. Famunda just shakes his head as he clearly understands that this thing has gone way off the rails. <laughs> it wouldn't be a murder hobo night if it didn't. 18. Oh, in he goes. Splash! <laughs> yes! Uh, let's see if Skippy knows how to swim. Oh. 20. He begins to do a backstroke around the circular pool with his winky hanging out. Look, I'm a shark! Swimming <laughs> <laughs> through the pee, too, that he threw in there. His pee, he doesn't care. It's like every water park. <laughs> I mean, yeah. It's like, come on. <laughs> Have you been around kids? <laughs> Uh, so the council members have listened to Rosa. They understand that now. Uh, they ask if she has any proof that this is the individual that brought the wicker basket. Peapot 
Ah, oh, for the love of God, you people do not listen. It's like he was a really warped war forge. Like something went wrong in his uh, coding. He goes, <laughs> "Yes, this is the guy that brought the wicker basket. His name is FedEx. I've seen him at the tavern a couple times." Gee, thanks. <laughs> Gee, you're welcome. <laughs> okay, I take my staff and shove it up his ass. <laughs> It's a war forge. He doesn't have an ass. He doesn't have an ass. <laughs> so, dink, 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 dink. <laughs> we da 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 da. Amanda goes into the waiting room, whips out his pipe, flint and steel lights it. <laughs> this has already gone off the rails, so Skippy, get your ass out the pool and let's go. <laughs> Somebody want to help him? Yeah. Oh, I, uh, me and, who, and who is this guy? Why is why is his thing hanging out? This is the guy that absconded with the with the craft originally. I did not abscond with it. <laughs> it merely alleviated its possession from its rightful owner. I borrowed it indefinitely without permission. <laughs> Can I whack his penis? Uh, well, it's currently helicoptering. That's fine. <laughs> you know, oh, man. His penis. Go ahead, give it a shot. <sighs> what am I gonna roll to do this? You gotta beat Camille on an uh, in, uh, initiative roll, cause she's gonna whack him in the penis too. Oh, okay. Uh, Ooh. Seventeen. Nineteen. Yeah. Nineteen goes first. See if you can whack him off. Mm, whack him all. God, mm. that was bad. Whack. Eight. Uh, no, Rosa. Uh, she swings and misses. What kind of a what, what am I rolling to try to grab him by the penis to lift him out and strength check? <laughs> okay. A attack with strength as your modifier. Wow. So what is that? That is your uh, proficiency. Att attack him with strength as your as your modifier. He's right. Still in chains. So Just grab said... the chains. <laughs> no, I want to grab. No. Because it'll hurt more that way. So, Spoon. Well, yeah, attack roll, I believe that you add your proficiency bonus to it, right? Correct. Okay, so that is an 18. Yeah, you grab a hold of it. And it I seems eat. meaty for a halfling. With a spoon? Do we grab it with a spoon? I think she grabbed it with the knuckles. Yep. And Beans and Frank. Can I lift him out then and toss him on the... Oh, he will howl loudly when you do that. Good. He's a little shit, and he's getting what he deserves. Roll against me. Let's see if you squeeze the last bit of pee out of him on you. No, uh, we don't care. He smell anyways. Jeez. Although, uh, I don't know. What was that? What was that rolling against you? Twelve. Twelve. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Never mind. I rolled a d twenty. Uh, which one? That's the twelve. Please be a one. Uh, it's not a one, but it's a two. Oh, oh that's, a, that's a roll off. You, you get a couple of drops of pee on you. <laughs> oh, okay, so we don't have to roll off. But he still yeah. screams, right? Oh, yeah. He's lying. Yes. I don't care. I don't care if I get a couple of drops of pee. Yeah. The I'm council right. member says, would you put him down so he'll stop screaming? And let's oh, no. separate him from you guys. No, basically, I didn't, like, hold him up. I just tossed him onto the thing. Onto the uh, thing above Dead the guy? <laughs> yes. No, the I picked the guy up with by his penis and just tossed him on the out of the pool. Which is gonna hurt. Into the hallway. Yeah, exactly. So I don't where the council members are. This little shit's getting what he just So hurts. he is next to Dead Dwarf next to Piss Bucket. Yes. <sighs> Bro. Okay. He looks at him and he goes, aren't you Skippy Lee Bellagio? <laughs> wow. What a name. 
Uh, what would you like to do? You know what? The council members say, just go back into the waiting room. We're going to take care of this mess. You, you. you wait. So you don't need us anymore? No, we're, we're still deliberating on whether or not, on whether you need arrested. Well, fine. We'll just, you know, if your Arwen dies, whatever. Hey, he's being tended to by medics. Oh, well, good. So you don't, you know. Our good deeds obviously mean nothing. Yeah, we just... This is one of the individuals that voted to convict. Yeah, you know, we did just Our good say... deeds obviously mean nothing. I sucked him off. We went and got FedEx and brought him back. And now you're giving a shit? Oh, uh, is what you hear behind you from Fomunda. Fomunda, hey, Fomunda, do you have prestidigitation? Fomunda, do you got balls <laughs> under Fomunda? <laughs> Really? You are not helping your cause. Yeah. Uh, he he asks if he can speak with the council members in the chambers. Uh, the three of them agree immediately. The fourth one is not happy with your behavior and uh, mm. reluctantly goes in. Uh, they go in. Uh, Peapot drags the dwarf away leaving a trail of blood down the hallway to which he turns around and goes I didn't laugh at that so uh, sorry you're not better at your job the halfling is uh, still wincing in pain from his hand job from Rosa and from under these nuts lights up another one and whips out a flask and starts to drink uh, pointing out Oh, no, he's, he's in the other room with the camera. Right. Okay, never mind. Uh, he comes out a few minutes later and he goes, get the fuck out of here right now. Three of them have changed, have, have all voted to exonerate you. That puts you in the majority. They do feel that your good deeds have been sufficient. Get out. Fuck here. out. <laughs> Frank, Thanks. How long, wait, how long were we waiting there? Probably well, 10 minutes. You've been fucking around for 10 minutes. All right. It's not short rest length because freaking me. Not okay. even close. <laughs> Plus, you've been grappling penis. Well, where do we live at? I want to go after the damn uh, ogre, but I cannot do it with seven hit points. We've been exonerated. You know? I mean. But he's such a nice guy. I want to go after this. Ogre to try How to do we him. know, really, that he's a nice guy? Just because he told us he's a nice guy? Because he's an elf, and elves are nice guys. Orcs are fuckers. They're like Nazis. They're always chaotic evil. Mm. There, you may at me, folks. I see. <laughs> <laughs> Humans Hashtag. are always your real enemy. Okay. Uh, what do you want to do? I don't know what it, what is it. To, I mean, you said we. I to, I say let's head to the tavern and recuperate. I mean, just get the fuck know, out I, of here. I want, no, I want to go back and change my clothes because apparently no one has presentation that can clean this mess. Yeah, you might. You wanna... might. You know what? I think you're on your own. <laughs> <laughs> Frank. Wow. Uh, yes, you can go back to your rooms. I will say that they are, uh, you guys have uh, gotten a small uh, townhouse across from the uh, Adventurer's Guild. Wow. Just off, just off Penny Lane. Well, you know, you're third level, you're about ready to hit four. You know, you're <laughs> as well splurge. Uh, it's, it's not a great house, but you know, it's, yeah. It's a place. It works. We get yeah. to it's a flop house with three other adventures that are sometimes there, sometimes not. Mm. Did we get to keep the uh, 80 GP worth of gems? Sure. They don't care about it. Awesome. So I divide that up. Or we As you're divide. walking back. Sure. You guys walk outside. Oh, sons of bitches, I hate them! Oh, all well, for the love of God. The Warforged are still doing a pretty good job of holding the crowd back. You notice that the crowd has lessened a little bit. Uh, the drunk dude, Hiram, is gone. Uh, and Sister Gertrude and her rabble are gone. Uh, now it just looks like a bunch of strange protesters that 
weren't there and don't know what the fuck's going on. Are they from Detroit? They might be from Detroit. They might be looking to topple a statue. We aren't okay. really sure. <laughs> um, so the Warforged are still there? Yes. So I would like to give them some money each for defending us. Uh, oh. That will put you in close proximity to the Screamers. That's Don't fine. That. <sighs> uh Okay, the Warforged are automatons, so they don't really give a shit about money. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, that's, that's my sad. bad. It's like robots. <laughs> that will kill you. <laughs> <laughs> They're like angry Roombas. Oh. <laughs> this is, yeah, yeah. So, the Warforged look, and look back at you guys, and look at the protesters, and they don't understand yeah, it either. It's... It's just some rabble that decided to show up and scream. <laughs> They're just yelling into the void. So let's. Yeah, they aren't even directing it at you. They're just screaming. I just so. pat them on the head then and go my way. Okay. Uh, you guys are <laughs> headed back to your bungalow. Was yes. The word I was yeah, for? bungalow works. Yeah. Uh, you guys head back to your bungalow uh, and you reach it in less than five minutes. <laughs> right, there, right there across from the adventure. <laughs> Rosa, you have the bathroom. Go. <laughs> but, uh, you know what? Can I take about an hour long bath and make it a short rest? Because <laughs> I really need to sure. sure. All right. Because I want to, I still kind of want to go ogre hunting. <laughs> but I don't want to do it with with uh, this few hit points. Uh, let's see. Well, I'm I just like, we haven't eaten. I mean, so, yeah. Let's it's lunchtime. Mm -hmm. Well, it's past lunchtime, so let's let's go. Let's yeah, get cleaned up and head head to the tavern. Sounds like that sounds like that sounds good. That's what? are you going to the grindstone tavern or some other tavern? Um, uh, maybe another well, tavern. Uh, we could go to another tavern if we knew of another tavern. <laughs> well, there's plenty of taverns in town. Okay. It's up to you guys, but, you know, the last time we were at the Grindstone, it didn't go Yeah, the Grindstone didn't really go well. well. So we'll try somewhere new. <laughs> well, there's the red spot. The red spot? <laughs> Is that the Is spot the tavern? Spot? That, that would be uh, owned by one Mr. Vic. <laughs> okay, let's go there. Uh, it is in the same region as I do declare you are being rude. Uh, so as you go past there, the protesters are still there yelling. Uh, all of the Warforged have left and have gone back inside. Yeah. The protesters uh, don't really know what they're yelling about. They're just complaining. Mm -hmm. uh, Uma Thurman is nowhere to be seen. Sister Gertrude Christian. and her rabble are gone. Uh, and you pass by the inn, which is now full. Uh, there is no line. And you reach the small area where there is still a blood stain in the street. God. Uh, well, sanitation has not been by. Gotcha. Uh, just across the open plaza is the red spot. All right. Win. We got there. <laughs> go buy a red spot to get to the red spot. Say that again? We had to go buy a red spot. We had to walk by a red spot to get to the red spot. Maybe they're, maybe they're keeping it red for a reason. Do they serve red rum? The, the, the gears are turning in Zadar's head. It's just like there's got to be a reason why Is they call rum this that's the red, red? red spot. <laughs> well, as you walk in, you notice instead of darts, they throw hand axes. Nice. A red spot target uh there and that is they've got three alleys uh that they do this apparently oh man it's kind of a barbarian uh dive bar uh but you know, the food smells good the alcohol appears to be reasonably priced uh and the atmosphere is eh, kind of adventury it'll work okay it's a fun place a buxom a redhead with pigtails approaches and says in a harsh German accent, can I get you uh, the table? Uh, yes, please. Sir? I will find you short table since you have short person. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. They go Danke. 
She leaves you in a book. How did you know my name? Uh, <laughs> he puts you in a booth uh, and tells you the daily specials, which includes some kind of weird soup. She calls it eyeball soup. You aren't really sure why. What about uh, bratwurst? But, uh, they do have sausage. Schnitzel. <laughs> oh, oh my God. jokes begin. Yeah. Yeah. Do they have Venus Schnitzel? Sure. That's what my dog is called. I got friends at home that are saying, say it, David, say it. I'm not going to say it. <laughs> no, no, that's okay. That's okay. Well, now I don't know what it is we're thinking of. Perception check, everybody. Oh, Lord. Do we see an ogre? No. Yeah, that's not great. Uh, that is an eight. Uh, 18. Ooh, 17. Uh, Zadar and Camille, you overhear somebody say the word FedEx. Ooh. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> uh, I turn in that direction I can, to kind of take a look. There are three rather sturdy barbarians, all with red hair, all with dreadlocks in their beards, uh, and it appears to be fashioned with some kind of uh, twine embedded with teeth. Yikes. Are they Vikings? Uh, they're kind of rougher than, like, more like berserkers. Oh, okay. Yeah. Not, not exactly friendly folk. No. Maybe Zadar could seduce them. Uh, oh, jeez. I could take a shot. <laughs> we know Go how this... On. Okay. He might Go like on. multiples. I mean, I've... Well, yeah. thanks, you know, um... Ching, 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 ching. <laughs> All right. So I, I pull up my hood and I shape shift and I look like Gina Carano from The Mandalorian. And yes. I mean, we're nice, talking. Nice, nice choice. Oh. She is so hot. <laughs> and I, uh, yeah. And, uh, Loved her in Deadpool. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Angel. <laughs> yes. So, I, so, yeah. I go walking in. Yeah. Do you have the matchstick? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yerp. Yeah. Uh, what's your charisma? Modifier or total score? Total <laughs> score. 18. Oh, you're better than me, man. Me rare. By one. They like you. <laughs> I hope so. Yeah, you're gonna start a fight, probably. Oh, yeah. They're, they're kind of poking you, checking you for your sturdiness. Nice. What do you want, sister? Punch him in the face. <laughs> I'm just like, um, what are you drinking? The blood of my enemies from their heads. Mm. I bathe in the blood of my enemies. Hey, shut up, you aren't there. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Lady Bathory. Yeah. Is, one of, is one of them holding a, a, a mug or something? All three of them are holding mugs that look like skulls. Yeah. And the fluid they are drinking is red as it dribbles off their dreads. Yeah, and it's just like, nice mug. I the, grab, the, I grab the, the mug and I just turn off and I just crack the guy like right, right in the nose. What the hell did you just do? I wanted to have dinner first, man. No, Hello, that is, that's that foreplay that for them. That is a berserker. Hello, that is yeah. flirting. Yeah, foreplay. Go ahead and see if you tag them. Yep. Sorry. Oh. Uh, let's see. <laughs> okay, not bad. 19. Yeah, you, you crack him in the face. How much damage do you do? Uh, let's see. Are yeah, we going by Zadar? <laughs> we're going by your changeling attribute. Yeah, I know. Oh, man. Okay, uh, let's see. Well... <laughs> It is a big whopping three damage. <laughs> I just kind of look at him like that. <laughs> he takes the axe that he has in his hand, <laughs> wings it across the tavern where an individual holding a flute is sitting, and it chops the guy's hat off, and the guy starts to play a lively tune, play a lively tune, play a lively tune. And I got, I got he his. He grabs a hold of you. Tangled. And swings you out onto the dance floor and creates some kind of 
cannibalistic sexual grinding. Uh, let's see if he can seduce. <laughs> I had a dream once. Fifteen. So the rigidity of his dance oh, strokes God. is making an impression on wow. you. Wow. Up until the point where one of his friends grabs him by the back of his hair, yanks him back, and says, Brother, let her dance with the real man. Uh-oh. There is a disagreement. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that could be in your favor. Uh, Rosa, your dinner arrives. <laughs> yeah, it'll be... Yeah, it'll be sausage and uh, sauerkraut. There we go. Camille, your dinner arrives as well. As Rosa watches the show. <laughs> I know. Your sausage. Add <laughs> sausage. Uh, Rosa, Camille, you can tell Zidar is going to go to the winner. Uh, and you also notice that the third potentially sibling is waiting for the other two to get tired before he jumps in. <laughs> he has a handful of axes, and he is flicking them one by one. There's just one problem. Mm -hmm. uh, his aim is true, but his strength forces the handle into the target, oh, God. not the axe blade. <laughs> Oh, uh, Zadar, you are first person sitting there watching these two brothers beat the unholy fuck out of them. I'm just sitting back, in a, you know, and I, I grab one of the skull mugs and I kind of smell it. And do I smell anything? I mean, is it just... Alcohol. It's, it's pure alcohol. Okay. The waitress comes up and goes, swag. would you like more blood of thine enemy? Yes. <laughs> what Phil, kind of... Fills oh, the skull mug. Yeah, I'm just sitting there drinking. Ew. <laughs> now, Zadar and Camille, you will notice that the third brother, not currently engaged, uh, his voice sounds like the one that mentioned FedEx. Ah. Hey, what is blood of my and What kind of alcohol is that? Probably, uh, it's probably amaretto. A yeah. yeah. Like a very red ale. Yeah. So... I want to try some of that. Uh, it's apple juice. <laughs> <laughs> it's red cider. <laughs> uh, Rosa, she will bring you some blood of thine enemy. Would you like it in the skull of your yeah. enemy? <clears throat> yes. Uh, you know, it's it's kind of a cool thing at the red spot. Uh, uh, so, Zidar, you're watching. The brothers are beating the shit out of each other. I mean, yeah, I'm letting them, them. You can see the black eye. You can see the missing teeth. They are bumping the shit out of him. Uh, the third brother has stopped throwing axes and he's waiting his chance. And there it is. He steps up as the two battle it out and goes and cracks their heads together, dropping them both to the ground in a heap. He <laughs> steps over, reaches out, takes your hand, <laughs> licks it all the way up. I, 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 I play into it. Yeah. You know. Yeah. They, he then looks like an octopus. And so I take my hand and I double down on it. And I'm like, you know. <laughs> you now have COVID. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> hey, no crossovers. Uh, yeah. Zadar, give me a Constitution check because you're imbibing quite a bit of alcohol oh, yeah. now. <laughs> Uh, let's see, con. Uh, yep. Star. Okay. Check, not I'm so. at 20 it. It doesn't seem to be having a negative effect on you. Okay. Even with his body perspiration. Wow. <laughs> so lovely late. So lovely I, take, I take a drink of uh, ale after that just to wash the taste out of my mouth. Fair enough. He goes, what brings you to my favorite tavern. Did you know I was here? <laughs> it's just like, I assumed if I wanted to find a real man, this is the place to go. Very oh, nice. I am a real man, especially for someone as charming as you. 
Well, it's just like you are the the charmer out of the three. Now, see, you're you're gonna get me into this whole sexual harassment shit, and everybody's gonna be tweeting about, oh, that guy's a dick, blah 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 blah. <laughs> Folks at home, fuck off. Uh, it's a funny game. We have, he has, we have consent. We have yes, there is oh, consent. Okay, that works. Yeah. Hey Zadar, they just threw you under the bus. Your girlfriends? Yeah, they just left you at the party. <laughs> yeah, they did. No. I would never leave my girlfriend at the party. I'd be like, dude, are you okay? Hey, this is this is Sadar. I mean, he's, you know, like I said. <laughs> he doesn't no, want I mean, his I'm shit a pushed in. So, so it's just like, you know, the right tools for the right job. So that changes too. So but seriously, <laughs> are you okay? Yeah. Okay. I'll be fine. Yeah. I did Zadar knows what he's doing, and that's how I'm. That's how I'd read it. Mm -hmm. But I'm I'm watching. I'm just case. winging it. I'm uh, watching these things get out of control. Yeah. Zadar, just... he asks if you and your sisters would like to join him in his room upstairs. <laughs> wow. Yeah, and I'm like, but of course. Did he just? consent us yes, yes he did, See, he this, did. <laughs> this is where it gets kind of hazy ladies <laughs> but no, is it just him yes he is a large individual yes that's, the other two okay. are out cold <laughs> that's fine that's fine we can do that yeah yeah we can do that yeah so, so uh, <laughs> i grab our i i grab our um our ales and all that and i just take a swig i'm like ladies <laughs> well, let's go and I, well, but, but before we go up we stepped over a mess before we came here you guys responsible for that no uh, some lady in high heels and her friends oh. uh, beat the shit out of FedEx Poor hmm. bastard. Who the fuck is FedEx? He is a short dwarf man with small little mosquito bite muscles. <laughs> he is nothing. He is nobody. Why would anybody hire something like that when they should have been using you guys? How is his penis? He's. What? <laughs> How is like, his penis? Who are you I, talking about? The, I don't. The, the, the berserker? I, I don't eat the worm. As you call it here in Cottaway. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hey, wait. How do you know FedEx? Why? Everybody, knows, oh, oh, everybody knows FedEx. He's always in here drinking. Oh, he drinks so much. He don't drink so much. <laughs> He's a dwarf. Usually, that known for drinking so much. Yeah, he got beat up by three girls. One of them looks like you. Did All right. You Are we ready to go back to your room? I'm ready. And he All takes right. his big meaty paw and gets a hunk of Zadar ass in oh. it. Oh, um, gives okay. you a mighty squeeze. <laughs> You're going to have a bruise. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I tell him, pace yourself, Sparky. <laughs> I, ladies, I, Bremar. <laughs> More than man enough for you. Yeah. Uh, really? All three of us? Oh, I have had to, I have three wives back home. You are not different. Yeah. Do you have them uh, all at the same time? I'll bet we're different. No. They have me at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Bremar is lover ex ex <gasps> extraordinaire. You uh, are about to find out. So I throw my arm around him. I make sure his mug is full, man. And I am too. He is quite and... wobbly going up the stairs. Yeah. Yeah. So we get in. You go up. Uh, the, uh, the room is. I don't know. That is FedEx's room. Wow. So this room is mine. Okay, ladies, and he starts pulling off his furs. Uh, and, and I kick open the door, and it's just like, let's go. He moves in, kind of bumps into the door frame. His chiseled chest is covered in scarves. Uh, this guy's seen a lot of battle. Uh, and he has eagle wings tattooed to his back. Oh, uh, they're, they're very impressive. And he goes, would you like to see me fly? 
and his wings undulate on his spine, and he go, he downs his drink, throws the mug onto a different bed where there is some, I'll say, harlot passed out on it, nice. um, striking striking her in the head, uh, knocking her colder. Mm-hmm. He drops his britches, but before you can see the money shot. Passes out. Passes out. Damn Passes it. Out at your feet. Damn it. I was just like, uh, I just. I uh, want to see, you know. I, I'm just like, ladies, I had a backup plan. It was just like, I, he, he was going to laugh his ass off either way. So. Really? Really? <laughs> now What's nobody's it? fulfilled. There's well, the check. <laughs> uh, there's think... no consent there. <laughs> wait for each other. This is our change back if you want, or this is me. I mean, but I don't think that's why we are. Uh, I was about to say, hey, little wine. It's... But I don't think this is why we came here in the first place. Is really? It? No shit? We've gone off the rails again. <laughs> 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 the only um, thing no. you managed to do so, was clear so, yourself and catch the guy who. So, I, so I'm just. I, I'm like, uh, uh, so we it? know where his room is. He's yeah. passed out. Let's go check the room. Exactly. How are the connection is though? All right, so we'll go check uh, FedEx's room. Okay. Uh, doors locked. Uh, well, I'm a rogue, so I'll take my my chances. I pull out thieves' tools. I can, I, I can help. Okay. Slide a hand. No, I actually have thieves' tools as well, so I don't know if that. I don't know he, if he means the check. <laughs> yeah, no, slide of hand. Isn't it? A, I thought it was a thieves' tools check, because you're proficient in it. It doesn't matter. I net twenty. But, oh wow! Never mind. I don't need help. Yep. You hear the pop. The lock opens, uh, and the door squeaks open, uh, revealing the same goddamn room that dipshits passed out in. Uh, there are three beds. Two of them are made. One of them is in complete disarray. Uh, there's some clothing, uh, and there's also uh, rotting food, a small uh, little Heineken cask of alcohol uh, that is open, uh, and a few other items. If you want to investigate the room, I will take an investigation check. Please. Okay. I, I summon Omen. Uh, to, to help with the investigation check. So looking for no anything. Poison, in. Nothing invisible. Okay. That right. would be an 18 for me on the investigation te- uh, check. Okay. <laughs> Anybody higher than 18? Uh, what are uh, investigation? Investigation. Okay. Uh, 19. Ooh, Zidar oh. also finds it. Uh, you find a small ceramic bowl uh, with burnt parchment in it. Oh, damn it. Uh, can we parchment use... is not completely burnt. Okay. okay. I wanna look, we want to take it out and look at it. Uh, you can make out payment and DeLuca and uh, the remains of AWA. Hmm. EWA. Well, is that the name of the count, the initials of the councilman? You mean Arawa? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You mean Arawa A R W A? Oh, okay, so it's just part of the name, not initials. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Well, he definitely. So somebody. So we well, collect that too. So. Yeah. But there's nothing on it saying who hired him though. That got burned off. Oh, Deluca. Deluca, <laughs> we got that name. So, okay. Is it a, is it an ogre? Um, I don't know. I say we never heard of it. Uh, we searched the room any uh, more. Is there anything else of note to everybody? Reroll investigation. Sure. Um, no, well, that's not terrible. That is uh, this investigation again. That is a three. But that is forget it because he rolled a twenty three. I rolled a fourteen. Oh crap. Anything? Uh ten. Oh. Yes. Zidar finds an extra pair of boots inside one of the boots. 
is about 50 gold pieces in a small leather pouch. I'm just like, well, he won't be... Dwarven minted. Not local currency. Okay. Well, I mean, FedEx, uh, may he rest in peace. He won't be needing these anymore. So. No. You hear a loud snoring. Uh, and I say, ladies, let's get out of here while I'm getting scared. So, yeah. So I just shape shift into my human form, which is kind of like Tom Hiddleston, Loki. <laughs> and <laughs> we're just heading on out. That works. Right. Downstairs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I tell Camille, don't worry. It's just like, if you want, I'll shape back into her. That's <laughs> No, we're good. <laughs> uh, as you reach the bottom of the stairs, you see the two brothers slowly getting up and yeah. looking around. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Good thing I'm not her. <laughs> so. Yeah, well, if they didn't put together that you were with us. Yeah. No, I look completely different, so yeah. It's good. Okay. You got to so. bail? Yeah, we're going to bail. You hear somebody scream behind you, Hey, you! Turn around. <laughs> I don't. Uh, oh, it's Daka, or yeah. They're pointing at Rose and Camille. Eat and run. What? Oh, you, you yeah, didn't yeah, pay yeah, for yeah, your yeah, food. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh. I'll pay for the food. No, so, food. how much are you gonna give them? Uh, how much? Is, what's the bill? Yeah. Two gold. Two gold. I give them three. Oh. Yeah. Big tipper. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we made a mess. <laughs> so. <laughs> okay, but that two for everybody's food or per person. That's, no, all that, that's total. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because that is going to. This is why the berserkers hang out here. It's cheap. Yeah. <laughs> they, don't, they don't give a shit if you trash the place. Yeah. So. Oh, no, we meant to pay. That yeah. was a... Well, uh, let's. Go ahead. Oh, let's take uh, whatever evidence we got and whatever and go back to the guild hall and talk to Famunda. Yeah. I would yes. kind of like to know if he knows who this DeLuca is. Fair enough. Uh, you move through the streets. Uh, there is somebody cleaning up the red spot. It is not, <laughs> it is not Piss Pot. So Thank God. Not him. Oh, uh, poor you, Piss Pot. <laughs> you move through the streets, and <laughs> as you get to the plaza, the protesters have lost all their steam, and they are just sitting on the prehistoric skull watching clouds go by. Oh, well, thank God. <laughs> uh, as you pass by them, you notice that they're all pointing up. I take a look skyward, and I'm just, like, cringing at what I might see. <laughs> there appears to be somebody on a flying broom with smoke emanating out the back. Oh, crap. Oh, for the love of God. <laughs> oh, for the love of God is right. Yes, what does it say? Who are we turning over here? It doesn't say anything yet. It's going to be a couple minutes before the message is scrawled oh, out. Oh lord! It, it's probably going to say, "I will have my revenge." Uh, yeah, probably. Uh, you finally reach the guild hall. Uh, Fomunda's associate, whose name escapes me at this time, uh, <clears throat> looks at you and goes, "Oh, this is not going to improve his mood." Uh, <laughs> Why? You go. You go into the initial entry room uh, a few minutes later. Uh, the squire admits you back to the room, uh, mm -hmm. which is Famunda's office. And he's like, oh, good. My headache had finally subsided, and you're back. <laughs> it's just like, we promise we're not going to do anything untoward or anything like that. We're just, we have some questions. So. We have evidence. We have questions based on that evidence. We are good what? people. Why are we giving you a headache? We have not done anything out of... It's not all of you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what are your questions? Um, you know who DeLuca is. And I'll show him, we'll produce the, the, the note. The burnt note. I don't know anyone named DeLuca. Yeah, you're pretty well connected too. So I figure you know everybody here. I know of high number of citizens in this town. I do not know a DeLuca. Hmm. That seems to be who hired FedEx to bring that gift to the council hall. And how did you come to that conclusion? 
We broke into FedEx's room and found this. Hey! His headache just got bad. <laughs> he was FedEx. a bad guy! <laughs> Dead! It's not going to matter anymore. We could have just been vague about it and says, upon our investigation, we found this Subsequently. Yes. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, they told us to find out who did it. So we are just doing what the city guard asked. That's fair. Uh, the councilman is still in a comatose state, and the clerics have been unable to pull him out of it. Oh, well, I mean, we... Well, the thing bits us, too. Maybe it's not as strong after it bites the first time. Is that really our fault, though? No, it's not our fault. No, it's, it's not your fault. No, I'm just saying it's an interesting fact that I, I'm glad that he did not suffer the effects like this, but that is very bad for him. The first bite is always stronger. That must be it. <laughs> uh, what's your next question? That was... Uh... I'm, uh, any uh, any ideas of where we could go find? I, I produced the parchment and you know, it's just like, can you make anything out of this? I mean, anything other than what Brooch, we told you. A pterodactyl? A hat? <laughs> <laughs> Origami! <laughs> he looks at it and confirms your suspicions that yes, this is probably about Arawa. Uh, I don't know who this DeLuca person is. Do you have any idea where geez, where we should start looking for this? Well, you had mentioned an ogre-sized individual earlier. I suppose you could try and find them. Yeah. Yeah. That would probably be our best bet. So. My ribs already hurt. I'm just thinking about the, that encounter. Well, folks, it looks like the group has done a pretty decent job of investigation even though it didn't go as well as they had hoped they have cleared their name they have muddled through a uh, non-aggressive action with mortimer j sneed uh, <laughs> they have found a new drinking spot and a i don't know haven for sexual activity if they so desire they have earned <laughs> the ire of uma thurman wizardress uh and of course they met their old friend skippy lee uh but they have been exonerated and that was the point of order uh they do have a mystery on their hands who knows maybe next time they play they will be able to piece it together i don't know let's go with final thoughts in reverse order camille what'd you think it was good it was fun uh i was irritated which is always what? good. What? Yeah, right? Uh, so, yeah. That, that didn't get played through at all. No, I know, because, you know, I don't like retribution, so. No, but Zadar gave you a little eye candy. He did. Know. He did. So, yeah. <laughs> so, I'm good. Zadar? Uh, I enjoyed it. I thought, <laughs> thought it was fun. <laughs> it's just like we talked our way out of trouble, into trouble, out of trouble so yeah i think a lot of fine. a lot of role play in this one so. yeah yeah it was rp heavy but man it was fun yeah and rosa hey wait you let us rp yeah i don't mind you guys I, RPing. I, I really really i enjoy uh role play so honestly i had a ton of fun with this i i like the fact that said cacophony feels like a sandbox and i've always enjoyed those things where the PC's got a lot of latitude in what we choose to do. And this is, yeah, I feel like it's starting to turn in, whether you liked it or not, into a campaign. Even it does have that feel. Yeah. <laughs> starting to get some canon, you know, and d d we're developing, you know, idiosyncrasies and things with them, I believe. That's very, very interesting. <laughs> yeah, that's that. fun. I well, like folks the too. Very good. Well, folks, this has been Thursday Night Adventure in Cacophony, Murder Hobo, Inc. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our archive. If you want to buy our cool stuff, let us know. Uh, if you want to chat with us in Discord, it's there. If you want a seat and you want to try this world, one of our one-shots, or even our talk shows on Tuesday, let us know. We're always interested in new players, new people, 
new opinions, new visions. Uh, let us know, uh, and we will try and get you accommodated. Uh, next up, I believe, is this Saturday. It is an open one-shot, so if you've been waiting, now's your chance. It probably <laughs> won't be cacophony. It'll be something else. Uh, folks, for all of us here at Murder Hobo, Inc., thanks for watching. Have a great evening. Don't forget to wash your hands. Cover your mouth when you cough. We're going to wave goodbye and let the producer get us out of here. Take us home.